Item Number SCP-990-J Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Currently, no containment measures for SCP-990-J have been devised, and, due to extensive budget cuts, we can no longer keep paying personnel to come up with ideas. All suggestions are welcome, however, do not expect any sort of raise or recognition for your efforts. Also, this may not be the best place to put this, but while we're on the subject of money, we're going to have to limit everyone in Site-19 to two cups of coffee per day. SCP-294 refuses to comply with personnel requests for liquids of any kind, and you seriously do not realize how much we spend per quarter on Folgers alone. It's appalling. Description. SCP-990-J is a designation for a human male dressed in Tommy Bahama brand clothing that appears to Foundation personnel through dreams. So far, no Foundation personnel have encountered SCP-990-J in the real world. If he corresponds to an actual human being, we have yet to find him and because of the aforementioned budget cuts, we probably won't find him. SCP-990-J has been appearing to Foundation personnel since 1993, but his existence as an anomalous entity did not come to light until 2004, when the Foundation Human Resources Department responded to the original tickets submitted a decade prior. The entity did not receive official classification until the events of Incident 990-1. Incident Log 990-1 Edward J a Level 1 Junior Research Technician working in the Site-19 Anomalous Entity Intake Ward reportedly failed to clock out for his unpaid lunch on October 21, 2005, leading to a formal audit the following day. Camera footage of uh, revealed that he had fallen asleep during this period, yet did not possess any knowledge of having done so, insisting he had spent that time doing intake of an entity proceeding to transcribe his conversation with SCP-990-J for use as evidence in the audit. Following the conclusion of said audit, this transcript should be available below for personnel to read. Update, October 23, 2005. As per majority vote of the O5 Council, will be allowed to retain his wages for time spent asleep, on the grounds that he was under the influence of anomalous phenomena at the time. Way to go, Eddie. Fight the system. Transcript 990-1 Okay, so welcome to Site-19. My name is Edward. I'm a junior technician here, and my job right now is to get some basic information from you and answer any questions you might have about what you're going through as you transition to long-term living here at Site-19. Oh, so like an interview? Yeah, more or less. Cool, cool. Sounds good to me. Alright, please state your name. Uh, what about Bobby? Bobby? Is that your name? Yeah, no wait, how about Phil? Is Phil taken? Taken? That's not how names work. You're right, Bobby is better. Can I go back to Bobby? Bobby it is then. You know what? You're gonna hate me, but I don't think I'm feeling Bobby anymore. I said it over and over, and now it doesn't sound like a real name. Bobby. Bobby. Just pick something for me. I'm indecisive. I literally can't progress to the next page until I put something in the field for name. I'm going to put Tommy Bahama because of your shirt. SCP-990-J lasts for an objectively uncomfortable amount of time. It really wasn't that funny. Actually, while I have you here, can I talk to you about something? It's important. Uh, sure. Great, great. So listen, buddy. Last year, I made $1,800 a week working from the comfort of my own home. Isn't financial independence the best? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Anyway, you seem like a smart guy, and I like that, so I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You could also be making this kind of cash, man. You could have two cars and a mansion too, baby. You just gotta invest in your future. Invest in Herbalife. <laughs> SCP-990-J retrieves a case of supplements and a binder from under the table. Oh shit, you're serious. I am so serious, Ethan. It's Edward. I am so very serious about giving you the opportunities you've only dreamed of. Now, I'm a straight shooter. You're a straight shooter. Let's get down to brass tacks. I want you to be my prime VIP downline distributor. 
Can I sign you up for the welcome package or what? Uh. SCP 990 J opens the binder and presentation to. You see, for every distributor you sign up, you get a portion of their earnings and their signed up distributors' earnings and so forth. There is literally no limit to the cash you can make. This is a pyramid scheme. And what now? A pyramid scheme. You know, guy at the top gets the big cheese, the lesser guys make money based on the number of people you recruit under you. I don't even know what your product is. What does it do? Herbalife is a, ahem, <clears throat> a proprietary blend of antioxidants, enzymes, and essential vitamins specifically designed to rid the body of toxins and… I can see you reading off the label. You don't know anything about the products you sell, do you? It's organic. It's full of organics. What does that mean? There was more to this conversation, but the transcription is assigned a copy in the interview on the digital storage was laid off. Essentially, SCP-990-J continued to pitch Herbalife for several minutes, despite obvious growing discomfort of the situation. Tried to push through by bringing out some of the Site-19 residency contracts, the legalese of which SCP-990-J found highly distressing and very airtight. SCP-990-J reportedly produced a smoke bomb from an unknown location and quickly threw it at the ground, causing the room to fill with smoke, with waking up shortly thereafter. Addendum 990-J-A Due to a sharp increase in sightings of SCP-990-J in dreams of personnel with suboptimal credit scores, Site-19 has been retrofitted with several thousand REM-inhibiting waveform generators. As of May 12, 2016, SCP-990-J encounters have been successfully reduced by 99%. Incident Log 990-2 On June 4, 2016, 051 discovered a handwritten note taped to his forehead, as well as 11 tubs of Herbalife Formula 1 Advanced Nutritional Shake Mix, 3 cases of Herbalife Formula 2 multivitamins, and 17 packages of Herbalife Simply Probiotic and Active Fiber Complex when he awoke in his quarters. The note reads as follows. Hey there, killer. Just got you set up with our deluxe package. I'll check back in with you in a week to get an update on your sales. Remember, always start with a smile. TB 051 has denied having any interaction with SCP-990-J. Absolutely preposterous. Now. How would you like to be your own boss? 051. 